All right, let's test out our roaches. You know, roaches do roaches thing, and I got roaches, so I'm going to do my thing, which is... Upgrade. The swarm grab. All right, we're at level four. Let's pick some cards. Uh, we we'll have two Void Legion. If I can hit a triple on that, that's pretty good. Void Legion already have Void Shade, so it will compound with our hero ability. Well, doesn't seem like we're gonna have this one. Darkened Sky comes in pairs. Sure, why not? Okay, I'm saving this Spawning Queens. Well, if the if the game giving me a lot of Zerg cards, then I'm going for Zerg. I also already find a level 6 card using his ability. Not quite sure if he's going for Protoss 100% because the new effect. He actually wants to convert that level 6 card again. Uh, it's free and also lower his upgrading cost. Alright, picking the Queen. Oh, another one. Okay, so we already have 4 spawn. So we are going for the spawning Zerg build. Uh, anything like uh, Infested Marines, uh, Ultraless Cavern. We're losing the ground battle. But we have a bunch of Mutilus left. And he doesn't have anti-air. He does have a statement though. To keep healing them. I think we're winning by numbers. Yeah, we are not going for the Infested Marine because it's already at round 8. I feel like it's going to. Uh, we got Ultraless Cavern. So we're going to have the Ultraless Cavern. Uh, I can... Let me have this enter. So we have one uh, Brutalisk in the cocoon. We're going to hatch it. And saving and just save that Ultraless Cavern for the next round. So I'm going to sell this Brutalisk. Uh, so it doesn't hash immediately. I want it to hash into Ultralis Cavern because I'm gonna spend all of my gases to upgrade Ultralis Cavern. And it's because we have a lot of spawning, it's going to produce Ultralis really fast. We are we already producing a lot of corruptors, so we're not worried about uh, the air battle. I'm going to have a bunch of Ultralis and upgrade them to Ultralis Elite. Combined with all of the upgrades, it should be we should be winning both the sky and the ground fight. Right, I'm gonna sell the Void Legion. We give up on that. Uh, that way, I free up one slot. Right, so we want everything hatched into Ultralis Cavern, Guardian Nest. Let me tell you, that's a trap. There's so many games, I try to rely on Guardian, we spawn lots of Guardian, and I still lose. Okay, this Melage could be good. We're going to save this Melage. Right, we find a second copy of Ultra's Cabin. See if I can find a triple on that. I'm feeling really strong on, like, Corruptor and Ultralisk right now. Maybe we, we, we can possibly just having a massive amount of Corruptor? A bunch of Ultralis Elite. It sounds kind of like strange, right? You only have front line. But when your composition becomes so tanky that your opponent literally doesn't have enough time to do amount of damage to eliminate all of your army, you can still win. Because the circle is shrinking and you have limited amount of time. Uh, hatchery is too late. We're already at round 10. So many Melage. Nobody's taking Melage? This is a this is a very good card. You need that. Right, so I'm going to... Let's see. The swarm grows. Okay, we enter the second Ultralis Cavern. And, oh, nice. We find a triple on the Corruptors. Best case scenario, we hit the triple and find Zagara, and because of the Zagara, because of the triple, we free up one slot, right? And that's when we're going to enter the Melage, and then we're gonna sell the Melage, and then just try to search for the triple Ultralis Cap. Yeah, that that should be it. Yes. Okay, we're gonna pick the Zagara. Enter. 
The Ultralisk Elite is a, a nightmare for BIOS. Listen, listen to that sound. It just sounds awful for bio player. If you want to play bio right now, you have to have something like Void Construct to shield all of your bio army. You also need to have a massive amount of Raynor to do to do the actual damage. Be because the removal of hardened shield, bio is actually very squishy. Oh, hold on a thought. Please give me reflector armor. Hmm, let's pick the bling bling. Not the best, but it's not bad. But imagine we got a reflector armor. It will just like oh, I only need Ultralisk. I don't need anything else. They will just kill themselves. Um, I have to sell this worm so I can have a melange in between Zagara and Ultralisk Cavern. Oh, I should have used the deploy to push this over. Hmm, that's okay. We're gonna pick this Terran cards. Hello sir, have you seen my Ultralisk that dressed like a Christmas tree? You see how he's toxic is actually doing the most most amount of damage. But that's still not enough. This this is why I said the Rochus buff is too much, because the number is just too high. Okay, the final upgrade. Um hmm. I'm actually gonna pick this shrink ray, so my ultralisk is actually smaller. They're not going to bump into each other that much. So I pick this. So I pick this Protoss card, because I actually do want to add other races into into the mix. That way, my voice shape can get maximized. Uh, I only have to find a way to power this. Okay, we're gonna pick the void ray for the void crystal. Uh, we can pick this stalker temporarily because they have two pylons. Right, we are fighting the bots, so let's check out our opponents. Well, seems like the final round will be Zerg versus Zerg. He got a lot of Guardians, and I think the Guardian isn't going to save him. I still think Guardian is a trap, but this new hero probably can make it slightly different because the increased range and ignore negative buffs, so he can have inner powers. Uh, is Glass Cannon a normal upgrade or is it a Terran upgrade? Anyway, potentially he can have upgrades to his Guardians, so much that he can beat Corruptors, but I feel like Corruptor in general is just way better. Uh, final move. I'm just gonna let the Leviathan enter, and it should be all of the thing I need. See, I told you that it is a lie. Never trust Guardian. 